Cloud computing, a very hot topic indeed. We are going to um, dedicate a couple of lectures on cloud computing because uh, certain aspects of cloud computing have to be understood if you want to come to terms with it. It's a very essential component of the NGN architecture and services. So let's look at the definition, uh, the need for cloud computing and an example of media cloud. So cloud computing is basically, it's a framework or a model which enables access to uh, resources uh, which are uh, shareable, which are lying as a pool. So these computing resources could be at the application layer, applications and the services and virtual hardware components like storage, uh, the network access and the servers. Now this framework of cloud computing allows very conveniently to access these on demand and the request is entertained in almost no time that is real time. The service provider is invisible to the user. So it means the user is just talking to the cloud or the, uh, 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 the, the resource provider. This makes the overall relationship between uh, uh, cloud service user and cloud service provider more direct and uh, transparent. The need for cloud computing is simple, reducing the costs. Now this cost reduction is the aim for any enterprise because uh, uh, once the costs are low, the profits could be maintained and uh, the service could be provisioned to the client without burdening it, burdening the client uh, more often. And this would also involve uh, a certain uh, reduction in terms of the storage requirements. So there's going to be less uh, in indigenous or local storage uh, uh, capacity needed. This is going to help the uh, organization to have uh, plans to not worry about the future storage requirements. Um, the dependence on O&M is going to be obviated and since it's uh, less dependent on uh, um, human intervention, so it's more automated, um, it's very flexible. So one could move from one platform, like from one OS to another, and uh, the user could be uh, mobile. It means that the same uh, services could now be used uh, instead of being localized only globally anywhere. Uh, let's take the example of media clouds. Uh, we could also think about uh, uh, other clouds like context-aware clouds and um, certain other uh, um, context-specific, application-specific clouds. But let's take the example of media cloud where the multimedia processing is performed within the cloud. Uh, the multimedia could involve audio, video, and images. And the content is now stored into the cloud. It means that earlier, if you look at the figure, the video, images, and audio are coming from the end hosts or the web servers into the cloud. So we have a storage cloud, we have a GPU cloud, and CPU cloud. Storage is where the content is archived or stored, then it is retrieved for CPU, uh, and then the CPU could direct uh, multimedia heavy content to uh, the graphics processing uh, unit cloud. So we have dedicated services which are now provided in the media cloud as specific sub clouds. Here something interesting is happening. That is the uh, content is being created at end. It is being pushed into the network away from the edges. And the intelligence to provide this content to somewhere is moving away from the network to the edges. It means now the edges are determining where the content has to be placed. 
this is a big move from the classical uh, router based architecture where it was the router which would determine where to forward the data. Uh, so this uh, media cloud is an excellent example in which uh, the heterogeneous user devices like, like smartphones, tablets, uh, desktops uh, could, uh, could uh, access the uh, content, multimedia content, uh, and process it somewhere else, get the results. Uh, we are going to look at some interesting examples in due course of time as well.